So you're afraid. You're afraid to learn Vim and Emacs. You have all this fear and you're just paralyzed by this fear. And because of that, you have settled on this inferior terminal based text editor called Nano. But you don't have to settle on Nano. There is a middle ground. There's something that's a little better than Nano, but certainly not anywhere near as leet as Vim and Emacs. And I'm talking about the micro text editor. Micro is free and open source software. You can find the source code for it over on GitHub. You should be able to find Micro in most Linux repositories. I know on Arch-based systems, you can find Micro in the AUR. So if you have the yay AUR helper on your system, just do a yay space dash capital S space Micro, and it should install very quickly for you. When you take a look at their website here and take a look at the screenshots, you know, it, it almost resembles something like Vim or Emacs. It has, you know, syntax highlighting, some really nice syntax highlighting, line numbers. It has splits, both vertical splits, horizontal splits. It has tabs. And reading the documentation here, it has its own plugin system. So it's a really fully featured text editor in a lot of ways, except it's not modal like Vim. It doesn't have all those powerful commands, you know, the command mode where you can do global substitutions and, and things like that. And you know, I don't think it supports macros. You know, a lot of the key bindings are the standard key bindings you've used in a lot of GUI based text editors, especially those of you that are coming from traditional operating systems like Windows or Mac and you use those built in text editors and those operating systems. You know, it, it's the standard kind of keyboard commands. So you don't have to worry about learning the weird HJKL stuff in Vim or the, the key chords in Emacs or anything like that. Micro, you can learn everything you need to know about Micro really in a few minutes. But let me switch over to the desktop here and let me open a terminal. Let me open something in Micro. I'm going to open up my Bash RC and let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. And if you didn't know better, you would swear that this is Vim <laughs> with the syntax highlighting, the line colors, the status bar even. It's kind of reminiscent of Vim. Let me move my head so you can actually see the status bar here because it's very important because you're not going to know some of the key bindings off the bat. And unlike Nano, Nano gives you all the key bindings you need to know at the bottom of the page. Well, Micro doesn't do that. For one thing, it has a lot more key bindings than Nano, but it does tell you the two most important bindings you need to know. Alt G gives you a listing of the bindings and Control capital G gets you the help. So if I do Alt G, you see I get some of the default key bindings, some of the most important ones anyway. So this is the, the kind of stuff you typically see at the bottom of Nano. You know, how to quit, how to save, open, cut a line, paste a line, things like that. If I hit Alt G one more time, that goes away. If I do Control Shift G, because it's Control Capital G to get to the help, this is Micro's help text. And you could scroll through this and read whatever it is you need to read, but and you probably do need to spend some time reading this because this tells you how to get all the help information because this is mainly just a table of contents for the help. Really, what you want to do is you want to type something like help default keys to find the default keys or help key bindings to list all the key bindings or help colors to figure out how to set color schemes, you know, things like that. So let me control shift G to make that go away. Well, if I do a control shift E on the keyboard, so control capital E, I get kind of a command prompt here, you know, similar to something like uh, the command mode in Vim. And from here you could type a command. For example, I could do something like V split, vertical split, the same command, you know, in Vim does the same thing here in micro. And of course I could have opened a particular file, you know, gave it a file name to, to open here instead of just having a blank split here. If I wanted to close out of the split control Q quits, that's, you know, just a standard key binding for pretty much everything. Control Q typically quits out of graphical GUI applications. And that's how you quit out of anything here in micro. Let me control capital E one more time and this time I'm going to get help information and let me see help colors. 
And I just started typing the word colors after help and, and did a tab complete and it you know guessed what I was looking for. I'm looking for help on how to set a color scheme. And you do that. Well, it's very similar to Vim, actually. So if I do control capital E and do set and let's do set color column. That's not what I wanted. Set color scheme. There we go. And then what are the color scheme options? I see one of them is twilight. So let me set color scheme twilight. Yeah, that's not too bad, but that's a that's a little dark for my taste. So let's run that same command one more time, except this time I'm sure solarized is probably here. Yeah, I could use that. That's not bad either. One more time, and let's get back to the default, which I think is Monokai. Yeah, I like Monokai. I'd probably stick with that. I think they also have the Dracula theme as well, but I think it's not actually Dracula. I think they call it Darkula. If I can type correctly, and there is Darkula. Let me control capital G to get rid of the help information there in that split. Navigating around the file is pretty straightforward. You just use the arrow keys. There's no H, J, K, L, or anything like that. Uh, again, if you want to see some of the default key bindings, Alt G gets you your basic key bindings, such as how to quit, save, open, find, undo, redo, and it's the stuff you expect. Undo is control Z, exactly what you use in most of your graphical applications. Redo is control Y, again, kind of the default in most of your GUI applications. So you're not going to have to really learn anything, right? It's, it's the same key bindings you use in so many other programs. So it's very easy to use, very intuitive. If, you know, the idea of learning a whole new set of key bindings and something like Vim or Emacs is scary, you don't have to settle on Nano, which Nano doesn't have very much to it. Nano is very plain as far as a plain text editor, where Micro is a little bit sexier and it does have more features. Again, it, the website does mention it has some uh, kind of plugin system. I haven't played with the plugins, but if you wanted to get into that, I'm sure you, there's probably sources of plugins. Yeah, there's a database here of various plugins that you could use for micro and actually just looking at it some of these would be very useful the fuzzy finder <laughs> plugin i would probably install there's a fish plugin that that would be interesting too i'm not exactly sure i'm sure it ties into the fish shell in some way a spell is a nice plugin i use it in emacs that is for uh, your spell checking Anyway, I, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. I just wanted to briefly show you guys the micro editor because I think it's important. I think too many people, when they need to edit text or edit a config file or whatever it is they're editing in the terminal, a, a lot of especially newer to Linux users assume they just have to use Nano because everything else other than Nano is difficult to use and that's not the case micro is just as easy as nano but it has a ton more features than nano has and even though I'm telling you guys check out micro if you're using nano I really think a lot of you guys eventually you need to give Vim a chance <laughs> at some point you just need to type Vim tutor in the command line and run through the Vim tutor it takes you about 30 minutes to run through it and you will forever know Vim it, it seriously takes 30 minutes to learn Vim and that's where you guys really need to end up but I understand if you're just dead set against it and some people have that really in their mind the, like I'll never use Vim it's like a philosophical moral reason they I can't touch Vim because all those elite Linux users those arrogant elitists out there always talking about Vim I don't want to be like them so I'm not even I, I will never launch Vim I get it <laughs> but at least don't use Nano right guys so check out Micro now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. I also need to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. This is all my supporters over on Patreon because this show is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find DT over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.